Well, hello, everybody in third grade. It's Mr. Renner again. And today we're going to be finishing up our story about charity and donating money to other people who need it um, because it feels good. It's called Helping Others One Dollar at a Time. And we're going to be finishing it up. So turn your books open to page 350 and let's get started. All right, here we are on page 350. Remember, yesterday, moving back one page for a moment, we talked about people give money to charities. This was 15 years ago, but it's probably still the same as it is today. Um, disaster relief, like helping out the people that are in Texas right now, or helping out people after a hurricane or a tornado or a flood. Food pantries, like Food Shelf, organizations for the sick, like my godmother and my mother, animal help, and homeless shelters. These two we're going to be reading about today are two organizations that help. A lot of times animal would probably be closer to animal relief or helping the planet, which isn't even on here. Um, let's read and find out about what these organizations are like. And in what way are these organizations similar? How are they the same? And how are these organizations different? Okay, page 350, Spotlight on Helping, Read to Feed. What is Read to Feed? The Read to Feed program works to end world hunger. It helps provide animals to needy families. The organization sends cows, goats, sheep, chickens, and rabbits to families all over the world. Each family cares for its animals. In return, the family gets things they need, such as milk, eggs, meat, and wool. Read to Feed raises money to buy these animals. And I'm sure a lot of you have realized this, but just in case, this is an organization that helps hunger by giving away animals. And it says they send cows, goats, sheep, chickens, and rabbits to families. They don't keep these animals as a pet the way we sometimes do here instead like Miss Sherry in the media center, they use it for food. The chickens will give you eggs, the rabbits, and actually all of these animals can give you meat that you can cook. And a lot of them will give you milk. The cow, the goat, and the sheep will all give you milk that you can use. So these animals do give them food. Um, and that's why they take care of them. How does Read to Feed raise money? The people who contribute or give to read to feed are school children like you. Children watch a video and learn about needy families. As a class or a school, they choose the animal gifts they will give. Next, they ask people to give money for each book read by a student. Then the school sends this money to read to feed. And it says, do you know of a class or school that has helped raise money for a good cause? How is that school or class similar to or different from yours? Well, we have at our school at Valley View, we do have um, pennies for patients. I don't know if you in third grade remember pennies for patients from a little while ago, but a lot of times we raise money by just dropping little bits of pennies and, and um, coins and giving it for cancer for people who are sick. So this is one organization. Here's another organization, Spotlight on Helping, the Rainforest Alliance. What is the Rainforest Alliance? The Rainforest Alliance works to save the rainforest. Rainforests have many things people and animals need, but rainforests around the world are getting smaller and smaller. Some people come and take plants and animals. Some use the land in ways that harm it. The Rainforest Alliance teaches people about rainforests. The Rainforest Alliance also encourages people to raise money for rainforests. How do people raise money for rainforests? The Rainforest Alliance website gives many ideas for helping. You might have a contest or hold a yard sale to raise money. You could build a classroom rainforest and charge money for tours. The Rainforest Alliance uses the money it receives to help change how people use the rainforest. And here's a picture of the rainforest that they're trying to save. There already are a lot of rainforests in the world, but they're disappearing as it says up here. The rainforests are all disappearing and you can't get them back. So we're trying to save them. 
So that's two organizations, the Rainforest Alliance helps save the rainforest from disappearing and read to feed is where kids read a certain number of books and for each book they give money to buy animals. Um, and as you are thinking about those in your packet, one of the last, the second to the last page in the packet, what are some differences between Read to Feed and the Rainforest Alliance? And in what way are they similar? Well, excuse me for a moment here. One way I know that they are similar, for instance, is that both, oh, what is another way that the two organizations are similar? And one difference could be that the Rainforest Alliance, what does the Rainforest Alliance do? The other one would be Read to Feed. What does that organization do? This is not working. So on this side, we will put read to feed. And you have to tell us one thing the rain for the read to feed organization does. And on the other side, what does the Rainforest Alliance do? What does it do by itself? On this side, only things that the Rainforest Alliance does. On this side, only things that Read to Feed does. And in the middle, one more thing about how they are similar. Both help people. One way could be that both of them raise money. Another one is that both of them are ways for you to give, like you can help them out. Um, another similarity might be that both of them are usually things that happen away from Minnesota. This is not, these are not organizations that help people in Minnesota, they help people far away. People who um, need a lot more than maybe people in our country do. And what are ways that they're different? This is Rainforest Alliance is only helping to save a forest. Read to Feed is helping buy animals for people who are hungry. There are differences. Um, apart from that, you also have this one to do. The words that we're going to be doing are fundraiser, money, charity, rainforest, and animals. Helping others one dollar at a time is mostly about, is it mostly about a fundraiser? Is it mostly about charity? I don't know. And then each of these pictures is one of these words. I bet this one, I know what this one is. You can probably guess also. All right, those are our two pages in our packet that you're gonna to do today. And um, after that, I will see you all later. Bye everyone.